You could be killing your beard without even knowing about it. Here are the five things that you should avoid if you want a good full beard. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because I'm gonna share everything you need to know about growing a beard that you are super proud of. Go check out beardgrowingpro.com as well where I have a ton of information that will help you grow your beard in an awesome way. Every single beard grower is intimately aware of what their beard is doing at any given time and so, I think majority of men are just concerned that they're kind of like killing their beard with love. I know that in the early stages of growing my beard, I couldn't help but touch it and do things and like overanalyze and just fuss it to with an inch of its life. I kind of was like the way with my beard that I am with a fire, where I just stoke it and prod it until it essentially puts itself out and becomes rubbish. So I have learned over the course of the last couple of years just to relax, not worry too much. And remember that growing a beard is a long game and uh, it doesn't depend on the individual days, but rather how I treat my beard over the long scale. So let's have a look at the five top ways that you could be killing your beard. The first one is all about over trimming or over grooming. Ah, oh, this was a terrible thing for me. I just always would be touching and pruning and trimming. And even now I see hairs popping out and I'm like, I'll just get that one. And then I see another one, I say, I'll just get that one. And I do have to re remind myself that if I do that every single day with every single beard hair that is slightly out of place, I'm just gonna end up chopping into my beard slowly but surely. So that's the first thing is I actually am very strict about I do a big cut up of my hair on uh, every two weeks. So there I have a shower, I completely shampoo it, I dry it, I lightly oil it, and then I use a trimmer and I get in. Go check out my other video where I um, talk about that. And yeah, I, that is my large kind of trim up for the month. Then every day, I do not touch the trimmers or scissors. Like that is the biggest thing. Now, I do ha occasionally have to sort of trim up sides. My beard bushes out here. So I do find myself using my scissors to trim up along the jawline, but I am very careful not to overdo it. And the moment I get carried away and I'm like, oh, I should do that, I just stop. Same with over grooming. Over grooming, using your sort of tools to rake through your hair every single day all the time is just not a very good idea. So what I recommend you do is brush once in the morning and then use a wooden comb or a ball bristle brush to tidy up during the rest of the day. I've got a small pocket wooden comb that I carry with me if I go to an office or if I go out, um, but I tend to just leave it alone. Um, and then this is the sort of leading into the second one is even if you don't have a, uh, a comb, you do occasionally just end up fussing your beard with your fingers. The second thing that could be killing your beard is just constantly touching it and pruning it. I am terrible at pulling at this bit of my beard. I just sit there, if I'm at the computer, I just pull here. I just do all of these terrible things to my beard. I'm constantly doing this to check the sides to see if they're flailing out. I twist, like I grab this bit and I twist it and I, then I push it back up because I've made it pop out of the bottom line of my beard and it's just terrible. Terrible. So over touching and rubbing your beard and playing with their hairs is a very quick way of damaging them. So beard hairs when wet are particularly easy to damage because they swell up with the moisture and uh, yeah, just become softer. And so I recommend that you do not touch your beard until it is completely dry. And then you just get out of the habit of touching it. It's very hard to do. Um, I've got a habit of touching my face. I'm a big face toucher when I'm out and about normally. The first time I ever gave a lecture series at a university, it was recorded. And I was amazed at how much I touched my face in nervous situations. And so now I'm just so conscious of just not touching my beard or my mustache too much throughout the day. Um, it can be a little bit 
harder when your beard is growing because it's itchy and I completely get it. Even now, when my mustache is touching my top lip, I do like, you know, touch that area a lot because it's just consciously sort of annoying me all the time. But be really careful and uh, yeah, try not to touch your beard more than you have to. Keep your hands busy with fidget spinners or other things, touch pens, but leave your beard alone. The third thing I think could be killing your beard is overuse of heat. Now I've talked about this a lot on this channel and uh, go check out my other video where I talk about should you be heat or straightening your beard. Um, and ultimately, you know, beard straightening devices, either a hairdryer or a straightener are just so easy and simple to use that we do tend to overuse them as part of our like daily beard routine. Now, using heat stuff on your beard all the time is the fastest way to dry it out. And really there's no way of replacing that moisture as quick as you're able to remove it. So in that video, I essentially conclude and say that you can use it. You know, these things exist because they work. They work, they make your beard look good, they straighten the hair, they get rid of the flyaways, they do everything that kind of really annoys us about our beards. But overuse of a good thing does come with side effects and the side effect is dry and brittle beard. I even found a scientific study where they overheated hair and caused small gas bubbles to appear within the, the kind of core of the hair, which means that you can overheat and it's not dependent on the type of hair you've got. You can just overheat the hair and cause it to bubble. I mean, that's a really extreme case, but you know, getting hotter and hotter, it will damage your hair so please use it carefully go check out that other video and uh, don't rely on them as your daily grooming or maintenance or control method the fourth thing I would say is that a bad diet is definitely killing your beard now go check out my other video where I talk about the food groups that you should actually be eating to support the growth of your beard I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> But there are some food groups that you do have to include in your beard to keep your vitamin A, vitamin E, your fatty acids up, get the right amount of protein so that you can build the keratin in your hair and keep it super strong. Now, it's not rocket science, really. It comes down to just eating a balanced diet. If you eat junk food and sodas and uh, chocolate and everything, you rely on microwave meals or takeaway, if you do all of that all the time, your beard is gonna struggle to be full and thick and dense. And uh, it's just part of looking after your body is looking after your beard. I will also lump exercise in with, in with that as well. Um, I've certainly noticed a massive improvement in the sort of density and thickness of my hair ever since I started running about a year ago. And uh, I hope and I suspect, although this is data point of one, that the balance of a good diet good exercise, my body's working better, and I can just produce a better, thicker, fuller beard. Uh, it does tend to grow a bit faster, I think, as well. Um, I find myself trimming up uh, a little bit more than I used to, although I should watch that as per recommendation one. Uh, yeah, so eat the right things, and uh, it, you don't have to overthink this. Just create a balanced diet, eat normally, eat healthily, um, fruit, vegetable, meat, all of that. Look at the food pyramid and your hair will look great. The fifth and final thing that could be killing your beard is your stubbornness, your, your lack of interest of going to seek professional help. Now, I am absolutely one of those people who does not ask for advice. I'd much rather go on YouTube where videos like this exist, but remember that the reason you go to a professional barber is because they have the experience. They have seen a ton of different beards, including some of the issues that you are facing and they can recommend products and uh, styles and care routines to make your beard look better. Even if you're dealing with patchiness, thinness, you know, they have tricks and tools and because it's their profession, they are at the leading edge of what makes your beard 
better. And so I know I need to do this a bit more is, you know, once every few months, even though I trim up my beard myself, I do things myself, there is always space to learn and improve. And I find that the best people to go and ask advice from are professional barbers. So please make a booking after watching this video with a professional barber and just go have a trim up, have a chat, ask what they recommend, what products they've seen work, any people with issues that have the same kind of beard style or issues and, and length and whatever as you, um, you'll definitely learn something. And doing that every so often will mean that you don't waste loads of money on products that just won't work for the issues that you are buying them to solve. So yes, that is definitely killing your beard if you are not going to see a professional barber as often as, let's say, probably a couple times a year would be perfect. And I need to start doing that too. So there we have it. There are the five things that could be killing your beard. Let me know in the comments what you would add to that. And I shall see you in the next video. If this video has been awesome and helpful, please share it, like it, subscribe, all of that stuff, because I'm gonna share all of the ticks tips and tricks and the insider information to make your beard awesome. Excellent. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas when this video comes out and I shall see you soon.